<laughs> we'll go into our first article. This comes to us from Tom's Hardware. GDDR7 arrives. Samsung outs the world's first chip, 32 gigatransfers a second for next-gen CPUs. Did I say that right? Uh, you did, yeah. GPUs. I'm so close. You said that wrong. I said well, that wrong. You threw a question mark on it like the spec was in doubt. And I was like, oh, I, I, I think they're legit. I doubted it, yeah. <laughs> Have they verified this or is this fake news, Don? <laughs> I'm Ron Burgundy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, you know, technology kind of kind of felt like it was advancing slowly. The, the supply chain issues that were going on made it where new technology was being created, but not to mass market. Like, you can go to the store and buy a lot of the cool things you were hearing about. Memory is one area that was set back by two things. There was the supply chain, and there were a couple of like the one factory fire that destroyed say, and laziness. <laughs> and laziness. I'm sure that factors in too. <laughs> to blame the young and pure sloth, Don. <laughs> they just couldn't get off their derrieres and make those chips. <laughs> well, there there have been some advancements, and we are starting to see some of those come to market. And the the one today is from Samsung, and it's GDDR7. Now, if you go and buy a desktop or laptop today, the odds are it has like DDR4 in it. Uh, but in graphics cards, they need as fast of memory as possible. It's common they have DDR5. DDR6 or GDDR6 is out, uh, and you can buy it. It's just incredibly expensive. But GDDR7 is now rolled out, and uh, 32 giga transfers per second. That means like 32 billion transactions or, or communications are happening per second. That's a ridiculous number. And then the sheer amount of bandwidth that it can move. Where, where is that? It's in here somewhere. Um it bumps up to somewhere around 128 gigabytes per second data transfer, which is crazy fast. Uh, most people have skipped GDDR6. This is like a 50% speed improvement over that. So when you combine it, like if you go from 5 to 7, it's a pretty big leap. That's a big jump, Don. 50%. Heck. Yeah. By Grapthar's hammer. <laughs> what a savings. <laughs> what a savings. <laughs> and the confused look on Sophia's face is back. <laughs> like the fourth member of the tech, of Technado fourth. <laughs> is Sophia's confused look. Oh, I see. I see. It gets its I've anthropomorphized it, yeah. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, you're that. You're welcome. <laughs> So I was a little, I thought it was, the the first part of this article is said in quite an unexpected twist, and I thought that was funny. Was this like an unexpected development? Well, so the, there was a little bit of controversy, which is there's a, a technology called PAM3, and I cannot for the life of me remember what PAM stands for. Uh, it's not the authentication. Not pluggable access module. No, it is not that one. <laughs> um, but it it deals with the the state of, of data. You know, Normally when you deal with memory, every single bit that's stored in there is either a one or a zero, Right. But in PAM3 memory, you can do a negative one, a zero, or a one. Don't, don't confuse this with like quantum computing where there's that nebulous state where something can be a zero and a one at the same time. It's not like that. But it's three states for every bit. And that makes this more efficient, right? You know, you have a, basically a whole extra bit that you can squirrel away in there. Uh, and it's not perfect. It's got some problems. And so people didn't expect it to come to market so soon. But here it is. So... Uh, apparently, Samsung decided that it was stable enough to be used for a graphics adapter, which it's funny to call them graphics adapters today because people use them for all sorts of things other than that. The you know, like the whole AI revolution is driven by graphics cards. So the, interesting. What and may, maybe you know this because it just popped into my head because I don't know. What is their major marketing push? Is it through hey, you get better graphics with a better graphics card, or is it? increase your bit mining capabilities or all this, you know, asymmetric fun stuff that you can do with, with computers nowadays. You know, Samsung doesn't care. Yeah. Uh, because they don't, they don't well, they've got to have some, they got to have some focus on their marketing campaigns. Yeah. Is that right? They, they make this memory and they're not trying to sell it to you and me. They're trying to sell it to NVIDIA. Gosh. They're trying to sell it to ATI, AMD. Uh, they're trying to sell it to the, the people that make those other devices. And, and then they purchase Samsung memory and use it in their devices. Okay. Yep. That's interesting to know. It does say they expect artificial intelligence, high-performance computing, and automotive applications to take advantage of GDDR7. So I guess maybe that's that's the push or the focus? Yeah, I, I think everything will gravitate to it eventually. It's it's fast. What's that going to do for these companies that adopt this stuff? I mean, are they going to drive prices up? Is it going to bring prices down? Or are we going to... What are we going to see advantage-wise out of this, Don? In, in the beginning, it'll drive prices up. Like, yeah. um, if you've bought a NVIDIA card, if you go and buy one right now, a 4090... Uh, an RTX 4090 is, I, I think they're like $2,800 for a video card. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's a bit of money there, Don. And then you go to like a 4080, and it gets a little more reasonable. They're like $1,200. $2, <laughs> <laughs> 
But even their low end cards are four or five hundred dollars right now. That's a lot. Dang, man, you, that's crazy. Think back in the day where the high end cards were. 200 300 yeah. maybe yeah uh, for the high end yeah uh so that that whole market's changed and and that's where this will come first and then like any technology over y- the years it'll get cheaper and cheaper to produce and spread out other places but then it'll be obsolete at that point <laughs> yeah i mean it'll be gddr8 yeah. 9 and so on GDG, gddr9 thousand <laughs> <laughs> i like that we have such a sunny outlook in this movie.